What do you want? Revenge? You nearly got my mother killed. Tariq interfering in family business broke us. Keep your eyes on Tariq. They know leave Anya alone. We don't need Noma coming around here sniffing shit out. Just say the word. Women down! Doesn't know when enough is enough. Turn around. You can't kill me. Nothing can. What up, what up? Welcome back to the channel. I'm ODIJ and we are locked in. This is what's next for episode five, the mid-season finale of Power Book 2 Ghost. Now we're starting to heat up in the streets and Tariq found out that he's potentially about to be a father to Diana Tejada via her mother, Monet. On top of that, he called a body en route trying to find out where Diana is, R.I.P. to Selim. We also see that the Tejada brothers, they clash into each one of them they're dead to each other. So we're gonna see how that plays out. But before we jump into breaking down this trailer, if you like power content, breakdowns, theories, and predictions like this, after show discussions, tune in tonight, 9 p.m. Eastern, then hit your subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you get something every time I upload. Make sure you hit that like button. Now I'm on that road to 50,000 subscribers, so I appreciate each and every one of you. And if you don't see this video at 100 likes, hit that like button. Now let's go ahead and jump into it. Break down the trailer for episode five, the mid-season finale. Brayden is talking to Tariq about getting revenge. Is this really something you want to do? Now, Tariq's been running around the city. We know that Drew and Diana, they used him to try to get at Monet. Now he's figuring out Monet's trying to get at him. Kane's trying to get at him, but has to fall back. So he's all over the place. We know that Brayden has the parties going. So right now he's talking to Tariq and told Tariq, I'm wherever you're at. But he also wants Tariq to know, hey, what you trying to get revenge is going to make it hot for us. And these parties are working. We're making some money. From what we've seen in all the other trailers, this is where Tariq is talking to Braden about becoming that apex predator. So getting revenge is the number one priority for Tariq at this point. Braden can hold the dope game down. Tariq, he wants to go and get at the Tejadas and get them off his back. Also, with the child potentially being on the way, he has to figure out how he's gonna maneuver with Diana still being in the picture. Because Monet has a protection over her kids and we've seen that she forgave her boys and Diana, even though none of them are on the same page. So Tariq, this is the turning point for him. This mid-season finale, we're gonna to have to see him turn into ghosts and hold down the business or turn into ghosts and try to figure out how he's gonna maneuver for his potential new family. Tariq and Diana, we see these two interacting with each other. Now he keeps bringing up, you almost got my mother on alive. Now remember, he spared Diana's life, so you can see why he's kinda of hurt. Diana's treating him a certain way when he's like, look, I spared you when your plan was to take out Monet, but then my mom almost gets on alive because you went and gave Kate my mama's address. Now, Diana looks like she's not trying to hear none of this and she walks off. But Tariq is like, hey, are you listening to me? This whole plan was yours and it didn't fall through the way that you wanted it to. So, of course, Diana ain't trying to hear this. Diana's trying to get right with her mother. She's trying to put all the nonsense behind her, finish school. And she realizes that she really ain't built like that. So for Tariq to come up here and stress her out about trying to unalive Tasha, Guess what? Diana doesn't care. At the end of the day, she's still a Tejada. So for her, she's just lucky to be alive. And her and Monet, it looks like they're going to try to resolve their issues. And we can thank Janet for that because Janet was the one that pointed out that Diana was pregnant. The decision for Tariq is running rampant. We know he can either be James St. Patrick or he can be Ghost. And right now, he's with Diana. They're going to the clinic. They're going to get the checkups. He's looking at the sonogram. So you only know that he's thinking, man, what did I get into? He's probably thinking, man, what if it's Salim's? What if it ain't mine? But there's a lot of things racing through this young man's mind because he just got his foot back in the dope game via Davis. Braden got the whole operation up and running. So he's thinking, man, is this really happening? Is this really my life? Now, what Monet is trying to do is get the kids back on her side. She's talking about Tariq interfering in the family business broke us. Now, we got that flashback in episode four, and we seen that Drew caught a body at a very, very young age. Now, it makes sense why Lorenzo and Monet were trying to push Drew to be the leader of the organization after them. He's been putting in work since he was knee high, but now she wants her two sons, Drew and Kane, 
to squash whatever beef they have and let's focus all of our energy on Tariq. Now, she's probably not gonna wanna unalive Tariq for the simple fact that Diana's pregnant, but at the end of the day, this is Monet. And we know Tariq has an issue with Kane and Kane feels a certain type of way. So Monet, she's trying to get her business back up off the ground that we heard in episode three and get her family back on the same page. Not being able to practice law, Davis is trying to see dollar signs. 20% from Tariq and Braden. He's getting the money that they're making off of the parties. He also put in a little work with Noma and gave her Wiley Allen's name at the gala so she could potentially have a new connect and get these new contracts to go legitimate. So Davis, is he playing both sides? No, he's working with Tariq and Braden, but he's trying to get some side action from Noma. And I'm talking about some loving and some money. But at this point, he doesn't have anything going for him legally, so he has to have his hand in all these different pieces of the pie so he can stay afloat. We seen Don step up and put Kamal in his place. He told Kamal, this is my operation. When you get a task force, you can do what you want, but we're gonna do things my way. You talk to Tariq, I'ma talk to Monet. Now he's still trying to get them to flip on each other. And it looks like his plan is going in effect and it's actually working because Kamal talked to Tariq and now look, they're back divided. Monet spared Tariq, but that's only because of Diana. So Don, he's gonna keep his foot on their necks and he's gonna keep exposing and peeling back layers, 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 and lay this on Tariq, Monet, Drew, Diana, because he knows about the whole family at this point. So Don Carter might be our best police officer that we had in the power universe. Now, I'm not sure where Monet is at. We know that Kane is gonna be in the fight club. It looks like Noma's gonna be down there also. The detectives, they know about Zion and his fight clubs. So Monet walking around with the mink on and the shotgun, well, it has to be something pretty serious. Either somebody from Zion's crew is trying to come over here and step on their territory, because as of right now, there is an alliance between Noma and Monet, and that's all via Kane. So I'm assuming that it's probably Zion's people that Monet is getting at, or some randoms. But more than likely, it's gotta be Zion's crew because of what happened when Kane blew up the whole shipment. Noma is getting closer and closer to getting these contracts. She's also partnered up with Kane because he didn't fill in for Obi and took that number two spot. She's down at the fight club. She's probably the one that entered Kane into this and said, hey, we need to go down there and disrupt whatever they got going on. Probably because she found out through Davis about this fight club or the new connects on these contracts. Because remember, she's not a legal citizen yet. She's still trying to get citizenship and it's gonna be a little more money. Now, if she's not moving any product or having any contracts, she's gonna need to go down here and bet some money so she's probably betting on Kane to win. And with this money, it will help her get her citizenship on top of getting these contracts so she can be legitimate. Now we do see a van being shot up and we also see members of the task force talking about put your hands up. Now, when we hear Don Carter tell someone to turn around, I'm not sure who he's arrested. Maybe one of the Tejadas, maybe one of the randoms for Zion's crew, but I'm thinking it has to be a Tejada or someone close to Norma's organization just for the simple fact that, hey, we gotta start building on the story. We gotta start connecting these dots. And remember, Salim is unalived also. So that's gonna pop up. And then the last thing we see is Tariq. And what did he say? I can't be killed. There's no way you can kill me. There's nothing I can die from. Now I'm thinking this audio was actually coming from Tariq telling Brayden that he needs to become an apex predator. It's just showing Tariq at the end with the voiceover. Now he does have a gun. This is a resemblance of a ghost St. Patrick. Yes, I said it, ghost St. Patrick in the club looking around, always kept a thing on him, that's stainless. So Tariq, in the season trailer, we hear him say, I have to take the good and the bad. Now I'm not sure where this is at, or is this is Tariq daydreaming, seeing ghosts, but it's time for Tariq to make that decision, as I said at the beginning of this video. Is he gonna be James St. Patrick, or is he gonna go down the line of ghosts? 
All right, there you go. What's next? Episode five, the mid-season finale. I want to know, what do you think about Tariq and Diana? Are they going to be able to make this newfound relationship work? Because, you know, Effie's still around and Effie likes Tariq. But with the, everything going on and him still being upset about Tasha almost being unalive, how is this going to work? And is Don Carter going to get any closer to bringing down the Tejadas or Tariq St. Patrick? Let me know what you think. Make sure you tune in tonight, 9 p.m. Eastern, for the live after show discussion where we go on the clock and break down each individual character. I'm Modi J. I'm on that road to 50,000 subscribers. So if I say something to make you think or you just like power content, hit that like button. Definitely hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. I'm out.